do some chemistry. Any pure substance has a certain set of conditions, a specific pressure and temperature at which all three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas, will exist simultaneously. This set of conditions is what's known as triple point. In today's experiment, I'd like to take a look at the triple point of carbon dioxide, or dry ice, CO2. When a piece of dry ice is taken out of the freezer, it sublimes. The reason being, solid CO2 will turn directly into gaseous CO2 at temperatures above negative 78 degrees Celsius. However, it will not liquefy. The reason being, here on Earth, atmospheric pressure is about one atmosphere, or one atm. This pressure is just too low to observe liquid CO2. In order to see liquid CO2, the pressure must be at or above 5.1 atm. In order to see carbon dioxide's triple point, the pressure not only has to be above 5.1 atm, but the temperature also has to be above negative 57 degrees Celsius. In order to accomplish this, the very first thing we're going to need is a wide stem plastic pipette. We're going to take our pipette and we're going to shorten the stem ever so slightly. And then we're going to add some crushed dry ice down into the bulb of the pipette very carefully. Once you've gotten a little dry ice down into the pipette, what we're going to do is we're going to fold the stem over and clamp it nice and tight and place it down into a plastic cup of lukewarm water. As the pressure and the temperature of the dry ice in that pipette bulb increases, the solid CO2 is going to start to not only sublime, but turn to the liquid CO2 until the pressure becomes great enough that the pipette bulb bursts. At this point, the decrease in pressure is going to turn that liquid CO2 back into solid CO2. For more chemistry concepts, continue to follow along.